We're talking to uh, Mr. Jerry Lee, who is the president of AFL-CIO, and Kwame Lillard, who is the uh, president of the African American Cultural uh, uh, Alliance. And we're dealing with some issues that have developed since the uh, recent General Assembly uh, dealt with unions and with tenure and a number of other things. And of course, Mr. Lee, let's uh, have you and uh, Leo, let's start with you, because I think we promised we were going to go over with you. I think we need to go back to what the young lady said mm -hmm. about teachers and principals. I saw a sign in North Carolina 30 years ago, huge billboard, all down Highway 40, and it said, if you think education is expensive, mm -hmm. try ignorance. Mm -hmm. And right now, it seems like many people who are in that state capital want to try ignorance, mm -hmm. and we're not going to let them. Mm -hmm. Nobody I know, including that young lady, mm -hmm. or her mother, his, her mother mm -hmm. or any decent parent mm -hmm. is going to let the legislator try ignorance on mm -hmm. Tennessee. We, we're not going to stand for it. Mm -hmm. People are going to go down there on lunch hours. Mm -hmm. They're going to flood the emails. They're going to do whatever they can to make sure, as that young lady said, mm -hmm. that we have to have literate people in our state mm -hmm. who can read whether a felon is black or white, mm -hmm. who can read anything that requires that person to hold mm -hmm. and maintain a decent job that will boost our economy. Mm -hmm. We cannot afford ignorance. Because ignorance means that no job. Mm -hmm. Ignorance means people can come to our state and put all kind of economic scams on mm -hmm. us, like that thing down there in Murfreesboro, mm -hmm. that make-believe project mm -hmm. that nobody did any research. Mm -hmm. That's ignorance. Mm -hmm. We don't want a working force that's ignorant. We want a working force that is something that's a prize mm -hmm. for us, that can attract industry mm -hmm. and create jobs, bring those jobs back mm -hmm. that Jerry talked about, mm -hmm. that's everywhere except here. Mm -hmm. We can bring them back, we're gonna bring them back, because we're gonna have a reason for them to come back, because we're gonna have some smart, intelligent, mm -hmm. efficient, mm -hmm. loyal workers. As a matter of fact, uh, 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 as the president of the AFL, you've been accused of being the leader, uh, uh, Jerry, of, of, of this activity, bringing all these folks together. And, and I, would, uh, I would be proud to take full credit mm -hmm. for it, but there were a lot of people involved. Mm -hmm. uh, social media probably got 500 mm -hmm. people there. Mm -hmm. uh, people came from all over the mm -hmm. state, other mm -hmm. groups participated in the mm -hmm. planning and uh, not only union groups, but uh, mm -hmm. community groups mm -hmm. and, and faith-based groups. So it was a real coalition of people, mm -hmm. and I think they're all trying to say we're fed up and we're not gonna take it anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these regressive laws that they're passing against unions uh, to weaken unions, uh, mm -hmm. where, for instance, they're not gonna let uh, allow for the employer to with withhold the dues mm -hmm. to pay them to the mm -hmm. union, mm -hmm. and when that happens and people start having to pay on their own, they're going to forget it, they're not going to be able to afford it this week, mm -hmm. and it's going to weaken the unions in that manner uh, financially, but they're also trying to take away their right to collectively bargain mm -hmm. the terms and conditions of their employment, and uh, it's just unconscionable. We've had those rights. Now, public employees mm -hmm. don't really have the right to collectively bargain a mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. They can have a memorandum of understanding. Mm -hmm. But the fact is the teachers have had the right to a contract since 1978. Mm -hmm. And I think our schools have done very well under that contract and, and under those conditions. They're trying to say that other teachers that, that choose not to belong to the union are not represented. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Good. The union represents every worker in this state. It's a right to work state. Mm -hmm. People that are in the union in mm -hmm. Tennessee are there because they want to be, not mm -hmm. because they have to mm -hmm. be. And, and they remember things like not having weekends off. Mm -hmm. They remember okay. things uh, when their boss could fire you on the spot. That's right. When they remember when somebody that age of that child he could, had to work. Mm -hmm. Now that's what unions brought to America. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that back. Nobody in the right man in the state wants to see unions gone from the state because you're going to have that same kind of abuse of everybody. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to take, take it. Now everybody who's listening to your show ought to decide how many hours this coming week they're going to devote to figuring out who to call mm -hmm. to talk about mm -hmm. this union mm -hmm. hating busting mm -hmm attempts mm -hmm. by the state legislature. Mm -hmm. And you would certainly encourage that. What would you say to these uh, folks that are out there this morning in reference to uh, Let their voice be heard, uh -huh. come out and support mm -hmm. these efforts, right. mm -hmm. uh, join these efforts. We will publicize them. Uh, social media has picked up on this and, uh -huh. and they're really, really helping to mm -hmm. develop crowds and, and what have to come to these events. Uh, the National AFL-CIO, by the way, I'm Tennessee AFL-CIO president. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, Rich Trumka is mm -hmm. the national president. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have this We Are One campaign that's going to revolve around April the 4th and uh, building up to and, and away from. And uh, we want small events. We want big events. We want everybody to talk about the fact that we are one.
mm-hmm. that that we in this country are losing our freedoms. And, uh, and so you're saying the working man in uh, Tennessee as well as across America really is in a dire street. We're under mm-hmm. attack, uh-huh. and and it's a it's a frontal attack and it's a broad attack, and mm-hmm. we are under attack. Mm-hmm. Hey, April fourth is, is is the day the king was killed. Uh huh. So that's a rally every okay, human being. Okay. That sign of us as living wage was uh-huh. part of his dream. Uh huh. That was part of his dream. Uh huh. You can't have a uh, an intelligent citizenry that's poor mm-hmm. and, and poverty stricken. Part of that dream of making America mm-hmm. what it is has to be sharing the wealth of this mm-hmm. nation. Mm-hmm. And that was Dr. King's dream. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, you think that uh, everything is right for that kind of revival of uh, the protest, not to just protest for the sake of protesting, but to deal with some real issues that the people evidently who came out of the uh, offices uh, th- at this recent meeting were concerned about, you see. And Absolutely. So there's, large, there's a ground swell. There, uh, there's right. legislation down there that, that, I mean, you know, they want to withdraw from national health care law that, mm-hmm. that was passed and form a pact with other states. Um, they want to uh, tell you what's in the history books. They want to revise history. Uh, they want uh, uh, guns on campus. Guns, on, guns on campus, guns, guns everywhere, uh, guns and bars. Slant lords over everybody. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh-huh. I won't call any names, mm-hmm. but but the, the guy that sponsored that bill about the the slum lord uh-huh. is a slum lord. Yeah, well that's yeah. what that's what the newspaper re- said. Re- yeah, I think that, yeah, the newspaper has already said that in, re- in reference yeah. to that. Yeah. And of course, the idea here, as I understand it, is that uh, landlords no longer have to uh, uh, register with the uh, local government, which means right. that anybody can simply come in, set up a, a house, and. Uh, there's no way to control anything in reference to it. Is that, is that your reading of that? That's my reading of it. That yeah. seems to be a very, very uh, antiquated kind of situation, you know. Well, the idea is, I think, the general idea with the Republicans, I'll, I'll say it, Republicans, mm-hmm. is that uh, uh, the free market economy is good for everything and everybody mm-hmm. and everything for business, and business will make everything right with everybody else, but it doesn't work that mm-hmm. way. and. Uh, you know, they're taking everything and, and leaving the people with nothing. And when you start trying to balance the budget, like I said a while ago, on the backs of poor people mm-hmm. and working people, there's not enough there to balance mm-hmm. the budget on. They just want to bring us down to our knees. Mm-hmm. And just kind of can continue to con- kind of control. Of course, yeah, you absolutely. saw this in, in the uh, civil rights movement. Yeah, as well it, it, as took, it took people, it took young yeah. people, it took everybody young people, to, to make that country uh-huh. change that hate uh-huh. that, that, uh, that was legal. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if hate sometimes is not legislated, it sometimes comes in your heart. But in those days, those young people, the American people, decide we're, we're sick of it. We're tired. Make of it. a plea to the to that group this morning, those young folks like uh, yourself who uh, started the civil rights movement, sit-ins, and all that activity and the dangers that you went through, and and, and, and tell them that it, it's their time. Talk to them. It it, it clearly is is we had a motto, and this applies to you all, young people. If not now when mm. and if not you who and the answer is it is your country we're retiring mm. you're gonna have to stand up now so you can you can have a nation that you'd be proud of that you can go to college and get the, the, your tuition paid mm. you can have babies that are healthy you can have their grandparents mm. living in decent housing it's gonna be you all that's gonna mm. sit there and watch either it happens mm. where you want it to happen or somebody's gonna happen make it happen to you mm-hmm. either either you do it now do it with us and take the chance, turn the, t- turn the remotes off, turn mm-hmm. your MP3 off, mm-hmm. t- turn, turn the football games off, get out there. Tweeting and all your Tweeting. Uh-huh. That's not going to put one pin in your pocket. Mm-hmm. It's not going to make sure that you have a job mm-hmm. when you finish high school or college. Mm-hmm. You can't pay a college loan back on, on McDonald's hamburgers. You've mm-hmm. got to have a decent career-oriented job. That means unions. That means respect for public employees. That means turn that TV off mm-hmm. and get busy taking your rightful place in the movement. Mm-hmm. Okay, your final words, uh, Mr. Lee, in reference to this. I guess my final words would be to pay attention, to educate yourself on what is truly going on, mm-hmm. go to the state legislature uh, here and in other states, mm-hmm. look at the bills that are being brought, look at the way they're forcing them upon us mm-hmm. uh, with a large majority of people. There is no... Uh, heartfelt relief there for us mm-hmm. I tell you it's mm-hmm. all about business it's all about uh, business interest and mm-hmm. it's all about taking it away from the people okay over the last 30 seconds let me thank the two of you as well as a lot of for coming by and giving us that excellent information about uh, the protest movement in Tennessee and 
and certainly I couldn't uh, uh, end this without adding that uh, the students at Tennessee State University and all of these historical black colleges, Scary and others, have a special responsibility because they have to uh, continue this movement that was started here in a real sense. And so that's the only way. And let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Conscience. Thank you and good night.